Hey guys, welcome back to New York Sports MC. Sorry this video is coming out a day late as I was helping a family member move yesterday. But the Jets and Joe Douglas went out and continued to try to improve this line by signing former Carolina Panther left guard Greg Van Roten. Now I think this was a very good move. The details of the deal have not come out yet, at least not what I've been able to see. But it is a three-year deal, which if we ain't know anything from Joe Douglas yet, Probably structure very similar to these others. Three-year deal, low-end guarantees, where it essentially makes it a one-year deal with the option to continue on. So, very excited about this move. Greg Van Roten was a pretty solid, uh, not spectacular, but a pretty solid guard for the Carolina Panthers. Better than anything we probably had last year. So, uh, continues to improve this line. He is at 30 years old, so a little bit older than like Connor McG McGovern's that we brought in. He is also a Long Island native. Um, he tweeted out yesterday a picture of his excitement and a photo of him as a child in a Jets shirt with a Jets helmet on, uh, which is great to see. You always love to see the people when they come back home, uh, when they grew up as a fan. I don't know, I just feel like they're going to have that little extra passion, that little extra motivation, strap it on the, the uniform of what was their favorite team growing up. So pretty excited about that. I don't think that this rules us out of drafting inside an in, uh, interior offensive line in the draft. Um, I think the plan stays pretty much the same. If you look at Greg Van Roten, when he was on the Panthers, he played left guard. If you look at Connor McGovern, this past year he played center. But the year before, he played right guard. So I can easily see a situation where we still go left tackle number one, wide receiver round two, and round three you go corner and center. So then the offensive line would then go to left tackle at 11, whoever was able to fall to us, Van Roten, the center from round three, McGovern, and then a competition between Chuma Doga and George Font at right tackle. I like that a lot better than what some people have already put out as what they're projecting our lineup to be, which is right now they have Fant at left tackle, but they even say, most of them say, hey, probably the rookie from 11. They have Lewis, McGovern, Van Roten, and Doga. And then they even say, hey, if we draft a tackle, it would be Dogo versus Fent. Which, I'm not a, opposed to that, but I just think Lewis commits a little too many penalties. And like I said, he did not show enough to earn the spot outright. So I'd love to see him compete with these guys. Let him compete with Van Rowe and let him compete with McGovern. Let him compete with Harrison, right, if we don't draft the center. Or let him even compete with the center, the rookie center. I know he's not competing at that center position, but he's competing with should McGovern start at center versus Lewis starting at guard, or is that rookie center better than Lewis to where he's going to start at center and McGovern's going to start at guard. So let Lewis compete with all these guys, but let's not hand them anything. Uh, sorry, as my AC just kicked on there. So that's what I would do. I would still continue to draft plan as we've been talking about all along, but I'm excited that you got Van Roten in here. You got another experienced uh, guard to put in there. I just read something that I think he gave up one sack in the last five years. You know, it wasn't a regular starter as he's kind of been a journeyman a little bit, uh, even playing in, was it the CFL or something like that at one point in the middle of his career. So definitely a hard worker who's been battling his whole career to even get to this point where he's at now. So very excited about this. I think Joe Douglas has taken the slow, methodical approach to this free agency period. He's adding good, not spectacular, but good players at good value, which is the most important thing. So I'm excited. I think that they're pretty much done with the offensive line when it comes to free agency. Uh, I would not really expect us to add anybody else there. In the draft, I still had, see us adding at least one, maybe two pieces then. Uh, Joe Douglas is probably going to turn his sole attention on bringing back Robbie Anderson at this point, which he should or bringing in another wide receiver, the corner and edge position. That's where he's got to continue to focus the rest of his time here in free agency, trying to pick up some of these low-cost, maybe 
uh, potential for high reward free agents at those positions. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your guys' thoughts on the fact that maybe the center position is not solidified with McGovern? Maybe McGovern does move to the guard with Van Roten at the other guard and us still drafting that center in the draft. So I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the page. Please hit the notification. And as always, jet up.